Alright, so let me just, uh... <clears throat> Here we go. Alright, so it has happened again. My computer magically broke. It turned off. I don't know how it happened. But the problem is, I'm in the mood for some flight simulation. Yes, I would like to uh, play some flight simulators, fly some planes around the world. But without a computer, that might be hard. Unless you have something like this, a phone. I don't know, it's a, quite a new invention. You guys probably might have heard about it. Let's talk mobile flight simulators today. Yeah, welcome back to Infinite Flight, everybody. Yes, the good old Infinite Flight, probably the biggest mobile flight simulator out there. And um, it's just, I mean, it's been around for 12 years, hasn't it? Indeed, quite a big of a deal, this flight simulator. And what's great is that they just keep updating it. They work so hard on making this better, I, I guess. I mean, they have done some serious progress over the last four years. So it's always nice to take a little bit of a look into the roots of this channel as well. I mean, our first video was an Infinite Flight video. So this is great but they came out with a new update which is why i'm making this video i'm not making this without any point they have just released a brand new a330 900 neo airplane for the flight simulator this is what they're saying and especially some more 3d airports you know airports with buildings so you know what let's go ahead and give this little update a little review let's just hop right into it it's right here a330 900 neo and it's beautiful well what can i say i quite like this airplane in general the a330 just you know just look at the landing gear the toted landing gear landings are just so smooth this is the butter machine and this is not only a normal butter machine but this is the butter machine neo look at those beautiful winglets here absolutely modern of an a330 isn't it let's maybe actually attempt a landing indeed we're now having basel airport down here all right so let's come in for a landing we're coming in extremely bad holy moly yep yep of course we have um the, you know live instruments here that are featured just like you know you would find them in the actual a330s in real life so that's actually not this is a super lead bad what am i even doing holy moly all right you know what let's just go ahead and touch down anyway there we go oh goodness Good! Good landing! I have this has gone extremely well, as always. I mean, you're watching Sports Desert 1 on YouTube. That's kind of what you get, yeah. But look at the beautiful animation of this plane touching down. I'm very much excited to see some butter landings here. Wow. Let's me see if we can discover some new 3D airport. I think this one is new, the Basel one. I just remember requesting a few more exotic airports to be added into the 3D thing, right? And that wish was, you know, in the last update actually fulfilled with, for example, Lukla Airport, which is in the dark right now. Let me just... <clears throat> Put the time of day to... Come on! There we go. Yeah, this is what Lukla Airport looks like. Yeah, you have to say this does not look anywhere close to what Lukla actually looks like in real life. You know, <laughs> while there are 3D buildings, the main thing about Lukla as well is that, you know, the runway is very much sloped. You take off downhill. That's not a thing here. I don't think they can actually even model uh, sloped runways very easily. So, yeah. I, I, this is not all too good, and we just struck our wing into, um, yeah. Let's maybe check out, have they added something more in the Caribbean, or something like that? We've got Martinique, okay. We're, we're getting there slowly, let's come in for a landing here. Alright, pilots of the Caribbean, let's maybe try to attempt to actually make a butter landing. Because this plane deserves it, I mean, look at the beautiful, I mean, I, come on. We're, we're messing this up again. I mean, a smooth landing, of course, starts with a smooth and stable approach. Alright, come on. Here we go. Alright, come on. But let's do this. I mean, with this whole phone tilting mechanism, you know, how you control the plane, it's a little different to, you know, with a joystick. You can actually fly with this flight simulator in a joy with a joystick, right? But it's not particularly easy to set up. Come on. Okay, that's been a landing at least. Come on, let's stop. Here we go. There we go. We're nicely stopping this butter machine. I think that's been okay of a landing, hasn't it? Jesus Christ. But it is quite different. And also using the small screen, this is not, you know, the biggest iPhone, right? Um... This is, this is not all too easy, but this has gone quite well. All right, there we go. All right, I think that's gone very nice. That's coming for a butter landing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't disappoint me now, Swiss is here in one. Talking about myself too much. What am I saying? Let's come on, come on. Nice touchdown. It was, that was very late, actually. And not even that smooth of a landing still. <laughs> Great! But you know what? I really like this tilting landing gear. I mean, a few years ago, my Infinite Flight did not have tilted landing gears. All the A330s looked absolutely weird because the tilt was missing. Now that is very nicely animated. So you know what? I would just give that uh, the landing gear mechanism a 10 out of 10 for animation. I mean, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 does it worse. Okay, there we go. I like this. 
Alright. Let's maybe also give a little bit of an insight to the good old motor player. Because, you know, this is the only mobile flight simulator that has somewhat of like a very proper network of online flying, right? I mean, this map down here, all these little dots are, you know, players, right? And we can check out LAX and the casual server. Alright, so welcome to Los Angeles. Here we are already spawned in with our engines running. Now, if we were to spawn in without them running, we can set that, obviously, in the settings. We would have to start the plane up. Let's check the systems out so we can uh, this is very simplified of a startup we can you know first of all you would turn on the main battery then the apu and then from that you would start those engines okay but you know what i, th I think this is still quite all right i think you have done this quite a lot better we go interface flight data configure what is that supposed to mean Oh, okay, is that just like the, the heads up display down there? All right, okay, I'll take that. You know, that's not too bad. This is all right, you know, well, I, I, this is okay. We can have the map down here, this is fine. And what do we have under MISC? Pushback. Do we have like some sort of pushback truck animated? No, we don't, but we have. Guys, guys, there's a plane landing, an A330 in fact. Come on, let's go. I think we've missed that. Yeah, we can go a little bit of spotting here in the flight simulator, in the motor plane. I think that's actually been a very properly done landing, as we could see from the background. Also done here on the brand new A330 Neo, and this looks absolutely nice. Yeah, this just brings me back to the good old Swissizer one times where I was, you know, just sitting around here on the ground, just watching planes go absolutely crazy, and that was, that was actually quite nice. But where are all these players? Where are all the noobs just completely crashing the flight simulator? Come on, A330 do something weird like crash into the building or something that could be funny and we have some more planes here on the gate and this actually just looks so much better than what it used to look like so also with a little bit of clouds here added to the skies and uh Come on, American 737, do something. And with different time of date, this looks absolutely nicer. Yeah, you know, I'll take that. I'll, this is fine. A little bit laggy now again, and my phone is hot. Which just means that it's, it's just very demanding to play this. I, I don't think that would, this would be running on like a, any, on an iPhone 4 or something. Nah, this wouldn't work. But you know, in flight simulation, we're kind of used to not having good performance. I have like an RTX 3090 and I have like 20 FPS on the, on the usual. <laughs> Great. Yeah, you know that this is actually fine. So you know, that's the new update of Infinite Flight. Of course, there's a ton of things missing, like interactive cockpits. I mean, we can start off with that. We cannot, you know, do that. We can, we, again, we have to use these interfaces. Maybe that's coming soon or maybe never coming. I mean, the thing about these small phone screens is that they would, this is probably a pain in the ass to actually properly use. And maybe in the future we could see some better textures here on the ground and maybe even some city buildings, right? That could probably be something that they're working on because this is not what Los Angeles really looks like, is it? <laughs> but yeah, that is the new update here indeed. Uh, yeah, it's fine. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Block, Emite, Mubarak, Mike, Ethan, uh, Darren, Stefan, Ian, uh, Oman the Human, Rafael Brokowski, Junk in the Trunk, Moritz, uh, Toby, Great Grandpa John, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, New York, uh, Tyler Park, Chista Ritos, Shadow, Anime Planes 001, X Men Show, Laird, the Slama, Puturing, Kellen, Me By You, Captain Cameron, Spiro, uh, Gary, Norwegian, Bajel, and Paralogy.